I just had this gut feeling. Look, that statement, gut feeling, it transcends beyond just the literal terms into every other area. I'm talking your mental health, your moods, your physical body size, your skin, and most importantly, your immune system. If you're constantly bloated, struggling with weight loss, and skin issues like psoriasis, eczema, facial acne, especially on your cheek region, dry dull skin, then this video is for you because I have been there and I've tried and tested some tips and I've put together the most effective ones especially for a beginner or for someone that doesn't really like calorie restriction dieting you just want something simple and practical and holistic then this video is for you so the tips I'll be sharing are based on each category right here I'm gonna start from probiotics to prebiotics to smoothies and wellness shots and then to snacks and breakfast options I'm also gonna give you an extra tip at the end of this video so make sure you watch till the end Hola. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking gut health and how to glow up your skin. Listen, I want to put a quick disclaimer that I am not a professional to listen to. So everything I'll be sharing in this video are based on what I've tried and tested and I highly recommend. Also, this video is not a quick overnight fix for weight loss. So if that's what you're looking for, mm, nah, this is a more holistic approach to everything regarding your gut health and your skin about a year ago i was in my worst state i'm talking i was constantly bloated and constipated very low energy and my skin was down there like it was really dull and dry and i decided you know what come 2023 i'm gonna devote the first quarter to fixing my diet fixing my gut health because i discovered that it had so much influence on how i was feeling throughout the entire day and if you've been following this channel for a while now especially this year i've been sharing more about like diet and you know just holistic wellness in general if you haven't seen any of those contents or you don't follow me on social media follow me real quick and if you're new year hey Hey, this is Tunola right here. I share valuable content. And if you like the vibe, please consider subscribing to join this thriving family. That being said, there is no better way to end this year than to obviously come here and share with you what my favorite tips are in terms of improving your gut health and your skin. I've tried a number of things, but I'm just gonna make this video as practical and as effective and as easy as possible for anyone that is just starting off in their wellness journey. Let me start off by saying that your gut actually contributes to 80% of your immune system. That is where it lies. Yes, I'm talking from your mouth to the outer region, your rectum. And there are a couple of things you might be doing to help your gut, to support your gut, or to damage your gut. Things like our diet is obviously like the number one thing. There are other habits and lifestyle choices that we can also talk about. But when it comes to our diets, sometimes we are on the wrong diet and it does not really support the balance in the gut. The general rule is whatever we give our body is what comes out. So sometimes you are presenting with skin conditions and at the end of the day, if you go through everything that is going on you find out that maybe you're reacting to some foods that you're eating or maybe you're not eating the right diet to support your gut some people have leaky gut and this is a situation where the good bacteria in their gut is not well supported to protect the lining so instead of you protecting the lining of your guts from every toxin because remember that we ingest a lot of things that our body doesn't really need so instead of the guts being able to filter through the toxins and get rid of it it's getting absorbed into the bloodstream and that's why we present with some of the symptoms on our skin so when it comes to leaky gut one thing that we can do for sure is to support the good bacteria in our gut and the best way we can do that obviously is from our diet I'm talking probiotics prebiotics leafy vegetables but let's start off with the probiotics because this is a very popular one when it comes to health and gut health in general probiotics is great if you can get the supplements and use definitely do that any probiotic supplements you'll be getting about 25 billion is good for like adults children can go with like 5 billion even if you like taking supplements and still want to get 
probiotics from your diet this is where i highly recommend kefirs yogurts and fermented foods because let's face it just taking probiotic supplements isn't enough you can always add to that by taking fermented foods like your kimchi like your fermented pickles and other fermented vegetables onions carrots there are so many foods and vegetables that you can actually ferment and if you're not into fermented foods you can definitely take yogurts and kefir like especially for women it's not just all about your gut and your skin but we know that probiotics is essential for down there and to make sure that we are well and to make sure we're not getting certain infections like yeast infections so it's always good for you to you know learn how to incorporate this into your daily diet i personally take kefir almost every day because i make it at home yes you can make kefir you got at home it's pretty easy i have a short video that i can attach here for how i make kefir i also make cottage cheese these are things that i make at home easily but if you're not into making homemade kefirs and yogurts, you can definitely get the ones from the stores that are plain or have low sugar concentration in them. So with probiotics and prebiotics, the thing is both of them work hand in hand. So not just taking probiotic supplements or taking foods that are rich in probiotics, but you also have to take foods that are also rich in prebiotics because it's the prebiotics that is the food for the probiotics. Remember that probiotics is basically like life organisms they are like life bacteria right so those live bacteria are good bacteria for your gut lining this is going to help protect your gut against the toxins it's going to help you digest food better so you also need prebiotics because that is the food for the bacteria yes prebiotics are like fibers that the bacteria feeds on so if the bacteria is not feeding on prebiotics it's not feeding on the right food the right fibers it's not going to be able to work well right so just taking probiotics will not really help you it wouldn't help you as much as if you are taking prebiotics as well and we can always get prebiotic fibers from a lot of foods like apples like bananas green leafy vegetables so you want to incorporate all of this in your diet especially if you're someone that suffers from let's say Clostridium difficile like the, the the very foul smelling stool and you suffer from like diarrhea or you suffer from bloating constipation these are things that you need to start taking still on fruits and vegetables now is the perfect time to jump into smoothies and wellness shots so i've made a couple of videos about smoothie recipes that you guys can check out on the channel but basically you want to incorporate smoothies into your regular diet this is a quick easy way for you to get a lot of nutrients and fibers in your daily diet because remember we need the nutrients and we need the fibers there are tons of smoothie recipes that you can try out that are really tasty and it's so quick to make I'm going to link the smoothie video for you in the description box so you can check it out some people also prefer juicing instead of smoothies and I get that I also like juicing some days but smoothies are so much better because you're getting the complete nutrients when you juice out you're taking away the fiber it's pretty similar to smoothies but you're taking out the fibers from the fruits and the vegetables that you're using so that means you're getting mostly just the nutrients from it in terms of the vitamins but you're not really getting the complete nutrients which includes fibers so that's why i always recommend smoothies over fruit juices but both of them are good and you can definitely incorporate this into your daily diet so try to limit the processed sugar Sugar that you're adding into your smoothies and your juice this is very important especially for those on a weight loss journey you're going to love smoothies because it will fill you more you're consuming less sugar and you're taking in a lot more nutrients and adding carrots into your smoothies is a great way to consume these fruits because you're getting your vitamin a your vitamin e carrots are also great in balancing your hormones and for wellness or detox shots you can easily mix up things like ginger and lemon and honey and just take that in in fact you don't even need honey for this this is really quick and easy for you just to get small shots maybe early in the morning you can do a shot or 
in the evening you could do a shot but detox shot here and there at least once in like a month is really good or even once a week is really good for you some people do it every day you know to cleanse your body and to boost your immune system moving on to snacks and breakfast options cottage cheese is one of my favorite things in the world to eat this year i've been consistently eating this and for those that are on a weight loss journey this is something you're going to need to incorporate into your diet it's absolutely easy to take and you can mix it with a variety of fruits to make into a cottage cheese fruit bowl or you can make it into a wrap so you get those rice wraps and you make a fruit cottage cheese this has been trending on tiktok for a while and you guys need to try it out it tastes good and it's so filling that's why i say when it comes to cottage cheese it's so good for those on weight loss journey because when you take this you wouldn't feel that craving to eat sugary foods or to eat something else in the next hour no it's gonna fill you up especially if you're taking it let's say at night or on your break during the day it's just a very good snack to have and you can always mix granolas with it and the great part of cottage cheese is you can actually make it at home yes i make my cottage cheese at home every single week it's so easy to make from kefir all you need to do is to warm it up and it's gonna thicken and you're going to keep it in a sieve and you're going to extract the wine water from it and there you have your cottage cheese it's so easy guys i'm gonna make a video maybe a tutorial video on that however if you are lactose intolerant you don't want to take a cottage cheese made from dairy products so you can go to the store and get a non-dairy cottage cheese another great snack option is granola bars yes you can also make this at home using your oats and mixing it up with some nuts let me tell you something almond is one of the best nuts ever almond contains a lot of fat fibers protein vitamin e and it's so good for lowering your blood sugar levels you know that spike that craving you get during the day to like eat unhealthy diet when you take almonds and nuts it's gonna reduce that craving so mixing nuts with your granolas and making a granola bar at home or you can buy the ones from the stores that have less sugar in them it's a great snack option also you can make it into granola bowls that you eat as cereal all of this is great for breakfast options or for snack option another breakfast option i absolutely love is overnight oats this is like a very popular one because it is that good it's very healthy you can add on Almost any fruit into an overnight oat and it would taste good so it's really cheap it's easy and it is good and the last but not the least snack recommendation is taking homemade popcorn listen anytime you feel like netflix and chilling at home anytime you feel like you're craving a snack or you just want to you're not hungry but you just want to put something in your mouth because sometimes we're just emotionally binging on food even when we're not hungry you can easily pop your corn in your microwave or on the stove and it's so quick and you can add a little bit of sugar and some cinnamon on it you can always make your popcorn into anything you want but i highly recommend just taking the popcorn with salt and cinnamon it's one of my favorite combo and enjoy what you have obviously you'll need to add a little bit of butter but this is another great snack that you can just grab and have in the house you don't even have to go to the store to get it but if you want to get the ones from the store make sure you're getting the ones without so much sugar and coloring in them popcorn is a great source of fiber and it's very low in calories so you have to consume a lot for it to actually add up so that's good and for the extra tip is to make sure you're drinking lots of water yes sometimes we just want to put things in our mouth and it's not like we're really hungry but grab a cup of water drink water drink green tea these are things that are going to also help your skin look better and it's going to support your gut health and whatever you're doing if you feel like it's not working go see a professional in fact if you're really going through a lot of gut health issues you definitely want to see a professional first and inform them of anything you're going to be doing to support your gut health at home the most important thing for you is to start from where you are at so that's the only way you're going to be consistent with it and that's why in this video i've been sharing with you ways in which you can actually make these foods at home yourself so that way you're cutting cost and then it's easier for you to incorporate into your daily routine because i know one of the hardest things is people are not consistent because they forget or because they can't afford something something but this way you can afford it it's easy for you to just remember oh i need to netflix and chill and watch tv tonight what am i gonna eat while i'm watching tv let me grab a popcorn so these are ways in which you can improve your gut health and your overall 
overall skin and immune system. If you want more smoothie recipes, definitely check out this video. I'm with you on this wellness journey, okay? We're gonna thrive together. If you have any questions for me, please drop a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I will see you on the next one, but in the meantime, keep shining.